So all you so-called black brothers over there that don't know what Christ looks like, the Bible is going to tell you what he looks like. You guys love to say that we don't know what Christ looks like, but the Bible tells us. Come on. Or that it doesn't matter. Read it. Clothes with a golden down to the foot. Right. And girl about the back with a golden girl. Right. His head and his hair were white like wool. The Bible says that Christ's head and hairs were white like wool. Read. As white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. God, the Bible says God's eyes were as a flame of fire. Christ. Read. And his feet. And his feet. Like a fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Let's get it. Let's get these laws that we are rejecting. Come on. Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Read it. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 22 verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. All you beautiful black sisters, God says, our sisters should not wear that which pertaineth to a man. Read Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. And a man should not be wearing women garments. Wait. For all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. God says he hates a woman that wears pants and he hates men that wear dresses. Right. In case you think God does not hate, give me Psalms 5 and 5. We love to say stuff like, God hates the sin, but he loves the sinner. I'm going to prove to you from the Bible that that is not true. Bring it out. The book of Psalms, chapter 5, verse 5. Come on. The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. God says the foolish shall not stand in his sight. That foolish meaning you brothers and sisters that reject the laws of God. Read. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. Did y'all see that? God says he hates all workers of iniquity. So you sisters that are wearing pants, I am pleading with you, you got to come out of them daggone pants. God is not pleased with that thing. You trying to ignore what I'm saying, you better come out of the pants or God gonna put you to death. Give me Zephaniah chapter 1 and verse 8. I'm gonna prove God gonna put you to death for wearing pants. Read it. The book of Zephaniah chapter 1 verse 8. And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice that I will punish the princes and the king's children and all such as are clothed with strange apparel. That strange apparel is women wearing pants and men wearing dresses. Right. You got to obey the laws of God. He said that he's going to destroy that man or that woman who's dressed out of order. We got to come back to these laws, sister. Stop ignoring God. We got to come out of these uh, out of these sins. The sins that so easily beset us. You got to stop eating pork, shrimp, crabs, lobsters. You got to start keeping God's holy Sabbath day. You women got to come out of them daggone pans. You men got to stop shaving your head bald. Give me Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 5. You got to stop shaving your head bald. Leviticus 21 and verse 5. Read. The book of Leviticus chapter 21 verse 5. They shall not make baldness upon their head. You Israelite men cannot shave your head bald. Thus saith the Lord. Read. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. You got to stop shaving your beard too, man. There's only two people on this earth that don't have beards. That's women and children. You men shaving your beards off, that's an effeminate spirit. Read it. Nor make any cuttings in their flesh. We cannot have tattoos. You young brothers, you need to stop getting tattoos. Read. That's it. That's it. Understand this, brothers. Understand this, sisters. We must keep the laws of God. We got to keep God's commandments. All right? Give me, uh, go to back to Deuteronomy 28. And give me verse 48. Deuteronomy 28, verse 48. Come on. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 48. Therefore shall thou serve thy enemies. God said that we were going to have to serve his enemies. Hey, my sister over in that blue car. Hey, sister, brother in the red pants. Hey, you brother in the red pants. Brother, yeah, y'all come over here and learn real quick. Hey, brother in all black. You young brothers, hey, my brother, what does Christ look like? Hey, brother in the Puma shirt, what does Christ look like? Like you. But y'all brother, you are absolutely right. He looks just like us. You're absolutely right, Pastor. Would you come over here and entertain him? Come on up, come on, Pastor. I'm getting ready to go. I'm hey, ready. Pastor. Pastor, listen. Hey, well, I know what you stand for, but listen, we want to compare what you stand for versus what the Bible stands Actually for. Actually says, right. Huh? Read Leviticus 21 and 5 again. 
Let me see if you get this, Pastor. Read that. Leviticus 21 and 5. Read. The book of Leviticus chapter 21 verse 5. Hey, put the camera. They shall not make boldness upon their head. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. So what is that, Pastor? That's worshiping the God with your hair. That's called worshiping God with your hair? There were, in that time, there were men who, when they cut their hair, uh -huh. they cut it to deity. I just shaved mine because I like it like that. Hey, now, Pastor, we go, we, hey. I'm not worshiping God we, with my hair. Listen, we're going to compare what you said versus what the Bible says. Read it again. The book of Leviticus, chapter 21, verse 5. They shall not make boldness upon their head, neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. Now, when, when we read in Leviticus, is that a law or is that worshiping God? What you said? It's either one. It's either one or the other because, and in, in we know in the in the book of Leviticus, we know that God gave the laws, and statutes, and commandments, right? So we're reading we're reading a law, and you're saying that that we don't have to keep that law. It's basically what you're saying. Okay, now watch this. Let me go to the New Testament. Let's see if that's true. Go to Romans 7 and 7. Romans chapter 7 and 7. You saying that God's laws are done away with because this is the Old Testament. And then I have another question after I read this scripture for you, Pastor. What? No, 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 that's fine. I just watch this. Romans, last scripture. What's your name? What's your name, Pastor? Pastor Trey. Pastor Trey, nice to meet you. I'm all around. Watch this. Let's just read this in the New Testament, Romans 7 and 7. The book of Romans, chapter 7, verse 7. But what shall we say then? Uh -huh. Is the law of sin? Is the what? Is the law of sin? Is the laws of God sin? Let's see. God forbid. Absolutely not. They're still in. Hold on, hold on, Pastor. Nay, I have not known sin, uh -huh. but by the law. How do you know what sin is? How do you know if you're doing wrong or right if the laws are not in place? Right. That's simple. Acts chapter 15. Let's go to Acts 15. But you understand that though. I, I, the laws. I'm saying though, you understand that though. The laws have to be in place for us to know right from wrong. Go to Acts 15. You're not answering the question though. That, I mean, right, look, you got laws of the land, right? You know not to run a red light. You know not to steal, not to. You know that, right? Just the law of love, that's it? All right, let's, no, no, no. Go to 1 John 5 and 3. And you know what? I don't disagree with that. I don't disagree with that. I don't disagree, but there's more to it than just love, though. Because that's what, yes, there is. Watch this. Let's see. The book of 1 John, chapter 5, verse 3. Uh -huh. and that, and that, let's go to Acts 15 first. At what verse? You start at the beginning. We're not going to read the whole chapter now. you got to give me a verse that's, to bring out your point. That's, that's, why, that's why you're getting it wrong. You need to read the whole chapter. So you want us to read the whole chapter, Acts 15, and that's you're going to break it down get, for that's us? That's how you get it in context. All right, let's go to Acts 15, and then we're going to get what love is. Read what you got. The book of Acts, chapter 15, verse 1. Uh -huh. And certain men which, which came down from Judea taught the brethren uh -huh. and said, Except ye be circumcised after the manner of Moses, you cannot be saved. Uh-huh. So what so explain that for us. Come on, Pastor. We the, Bible gonna, say, the Bible is saying it. Let the Bible speak. All right, we're gonna keep we're gonna read a couple more verses. You're gonna have to break some down though. We're just gonna keep reading now. Go Why ahead. Not? That's when therefore Paul and Barnabas had no small dis decision and disputation with Get them, that. they determined that Paul and Barnabas and certain other of them should go up to Jerusalem unto the apostles uh -huh. and elders about this question. Read the next verse. Hopefully you're going to break something down. And being brought on their way by the church, they passed through Phineas and, and Samaria, uh -huh. declaring the concision of the Gentiles. And they caused great joy unto all the brethren. Now, you on now. Help me out. I don't know what's going on. Pastor, what's your name, Pastor Trey? Trey, is, is this what you love to do? You just love to read? You gotta help me out! Keep reading. What is the point that you're trying to make? The point is that we're free. We, if you keep reading, it tells us that we're saved. Saved from what? Go to, go to John 1. 1 and 68. What are we saved from as a people? Right. Pastor Trey. What do we save from as a people? When you say we save, what do who, what do we save from? Are we not still living in the ghettos? Right. 
Pastor Trey, you say we need to be saved. We're saved from what? All right, now let's see what the Bible says. Saved from sin. But keep reading. Read this. The book of Luke, chapter 4, verse 68. Bless. Trey, I'm not going to keep reading if you don't give me the understanding. No, sir. Watch this. You said we need to be saved. You said saved from sin, right? Watch this. The book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 68. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to read the Bible, and then I'm going to give you the understanding. That's the difference. Watch this. Read what you got. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he has visited and redeemed his people. He has redeemed his people. I guarantee you that you teach everybody can be saved, right? You teach everybody can be saved? And that's a shame. Out. Out. Listen, listen, I'm listen. trying to hear him out, but he don't want to talk. Well, you want to finish Acts 15. He wants me to read the whole book of Acts. Yeah. Not, but he's not explaining anything. You don't have to if you keep reading. Come on, Pastor Trey. You know better than that. You got to read precept upon precept. So I got to read the whole chapter? You can't pick and choose scripture and get understanding. All right, watch this. All right, watch this. And now come deal with us. I, I hear you out. What scripture do you have to prove your point? You don't have one. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom.